Fifty years ago, you couldn't get a foot in. You couldn't travel without a permit. You couldn't get a bed for the night in village or town except in the Jewish quarter. And if you lived in Vienna, you lived in Leopoldstadt. You wore a yellow patch and, and, and stepped off the pavement to make way for an Austrian. <laughs> By all that's holy, it's happened in one lifetime. My grandfather wore a kaftan. My father went to the opera in a top hat, and I have the singles to dinner. Actors, writers, musicians. We buy the books, we look at the paintings, we go to the theater, the restaurant. We employ music teachers for our children. A new writer, if he's a great poet, like uh, Hoffmannsthal, walks among us like a demigod. We literally worship culture. And when we make money, that's what the money is for to put us at the beating heart of Viennese culture. This is the promised land, and not because it's some place on a map where my ancestors came from. We're only one in ten, but without us, Austria would be the, the, the Patagonia of banking, science, the law, the arts, literature, journalism. Well, Hermann, assimilation doesn't mean to stop being a Jew. Your incidental effect would be the end of Judaism. Assimilation means to carry on being a Jew without insult. Episcopalians are assimilated. Zoroastrians are assimilated. I could be a, 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 a druid for all my professors care. It is only the Jews. I am an unbeliever. I don't observe Jewish customs except as a souvenir of family ties. But to a Gentile, I am a Jew. There isn't a Gentile anywhere who at one moment or another hasn't thought Jew. You can be baptized. You can marry a Catholic. Oh, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I didn't mean you, of course. I mean, I did, but... 